Good morning. I'm Samuel Grit, Jr., principal of Western Michigan Christian Middle and High School. And though we are working uh, under the auspices of our governor's order, where there is no in-person school, school is continuing at Western Michigan Christian Middle and High School. It is WMC Remote Learning. And we are privileged and blessed by the hand of God to be moving forward in a magnificent and powerful way. It's my special opportunity to welcome you to our Senior Awards Recognition Program. Our seniors have done a tremendous job this academic year, and we are blessed to have a virtual presentation of that effort. I want to do two things. I want to open with a word of prayer, and then come back and just say a quick word. Would you bow with me? God, we thank you for the privilege we have today. We thank you for the opportunity that you've given unto us. We thank you for the mission and vision of WMC. And we ask your grace, we ask your power, we ask your protection and your purpose in our work. Would you sanctify now this evening to your honor and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us. Seniors all over our area are working, but there's absolutely no group of seniors like the seniors of WMC. They excel academically. They excel with extracurricular activity. They excel with AP learnings. They are blessed to do marvelous things. And the program that you are about to enjoy is only a snapshot of the tremendous efforts of Western Michigan Christian Middle and High School Senior Class 2020. Now, enjoy the presentation, and may God bless you, and may God keep you, is my prayer. Greetings, seniors, family, and friends. The class of 2020 has been an exceptional group academically and athletically, no question. But nowhere is their determination and drive more evident than in music. This special group of seniors has blessed our community with a level of musicianship that will be remembered for many, many years to come. They've left an indelible mark on the history of our music department and on this school community. And while it grieves me that we've missed out on the normal capstone concerts and activities of the end of the school year that we would normally celebrate, I'm privileged to honor two special individuals here today. These students showed leadership in rehearsals and concert settings. They went over and above to participate in every conceivable competition and festival, and they did so with a spirit of passion and joy that spilled over into every piece they sang. It is my honor today to name David Clausing and Emma Visker as the recipients of the 2020 WMC Choir Award. May God bless you and the class of 2020 as you continue to make music for him. Hi seniors, it's band award time. And today I get to give away two awards, one for concert band, one for jazz band, to uh, some very deserving seniors. And I'm very excited to announce who they are and give them their awards. So we'll start with concert band. And this senior has definitely earned the award for concert band. Has been an absolute pleasure to have all four years. Has made an instrument switch and embraced it. And always works so hard and has become a tremendous player because of it. She also switched into jazz band her senior year, tried something new and excelled at it greatly and worked very hard and um, just as a wonderful student brings joy to every classroom she's in and um, really adds to the musicality and uh, the sound of every ensemble she plays with. And that would be Peyton Allen. It's been a pleasure to teach you for the last four years, Peyton. I'm excited to see where you go. On to the Jazz Award. This player has been also a pleasure to have in class all four years in jazz band, has improved greatly and works very hard, uh, also brings joy and laughter into every classroom he is in, whether we need it at that moment or not, and has been 
just outstanding, is always encouraging and positive, and that would be Ryan Bradford Royal. So once again, Ryan, it's been a pleasure to teach you for the last four years to have you throughout all of Jazz Band, and I hope you continue on, and I'm excited to see where you go as well. Congratulations, guys. Hello, everybody. My name is Mrs. Negretti, and I'm the art teacher at Western Michigan Christian. This is my first year here at WMC, and I was truly blown away by the talent displayed from our students across the board. This year, I would like to recognize two very special seniors with the Outstanding Artist Award. Both of these ladies have excelled in all of their art classes and gone above and beyond any of my expectations. Olivia Brower and Ella Burzma, you have both been such a joy and blessing to have in class this year. You have truly inspired me as a teacher and who I am as an artist. Ella, I cannot wait to see you as an art teacher. I think you're going to do an amazing job and I hope that I did not scare you away with all of my crazy stories. Olivia, I cannot wait to see what you do as a designer because I know you are going to be seriously amazing. Whatever path each of you chooses to go down, I know God is going to use you in a big way. Congratulations on this award and thank you for an amazing year. Hello, I'm Mr. Osborne. I am the Industrial Arts and CAD instructor here at WMC. I'm here to present the Industrial Arts and CAD Awards. I want you to know that I had a very difficult time choosing only one student for each category. So, for the Industrial Arts Award, I would like to present that to Hugo Campillo. Hugo selected and completed at least two projects in one trimester, and in addition to that, he worked on several cleaning and maintenance projects in the woodshop. Uh, he seemed to have very good work ethics and a high level of motivation and interest. For the CAT Award, I chose Gabe Gauthier, who also impressed me as a highly motivated, very respectful, self-directed learner and worker. Both of these gentlemen exemplify the work ethics that are found in Colossians 3, 23 and 24, where it says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as your reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Gentlemen, with that kind of work ethic, I know that you will go far in life. Congratulations, and may the Lord bless you. Hi, I'm Kurt Gruppen, uh, one of the PE instructors at WMC. It is my privilege to give out the 2020 uh, Male Physical Education uh, award. Um, this individual uh, has been a part of the uh, PE department and part in, in the PE program uh, as a freshman uh, in freshman PE. He's been a part of the program in advanced PE. Uh, he's been a part of lifetime sports and fitness and he's been involved in the varsity conditioning program. Uh, this individual has exemplified what it means to be a PE student at WMC. Uh, he's been uh, humble. He's been a very hard-working student, and he's been an encourager to all. Uh, the 2020 Male Physical Education uh, Award goes to Mr. Bradley Falkema. Congratulations, Brad. My name is Rachel Hooker, one of the PE teachers here at WMC. Uh, it's my privilege to present the Senior Class of 2020 Female PE Award. Uh, this student that wins this award exemplifies what it means to be a warrior in every aspect. Uh, she's extremely teachable. She's a hard worker and she competes with class no matter the circumstance. Uh, she has a joy about her that's super, super contagious. Uh, and she brings laughter daily to class uh, and a smile really wherever she goes. Uh, it was a joy having her in my classes and I wish Adela Liggett all of the best as she continues, continues on next year at Hope College. Congratulations, Adela. My name is Mr. Smith and I teach Bible here at WMC and I have the privilege of presenting the Bible Award this year. Each year this award is presented to a student who excels academically in the various Bible classes and this student has done just that. Maybe even more significant than how the student has done academically 
is the hunger and desire the student has to know more about God's word with his mind, but also to know God with his heart. In Matthew 22, Jesus responds to the Pharisees when asked which is the greatest commandment in the law. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. It's the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. I see the student striving to live out these words of Jesus, loving God with his head, but also loving God and others with his heart. This student has a strong desire to see others grow in their relationship with Christ. Many of us, I think, have seen this student praying for and praying over students at WMC. I've also seen this student go out of his way to make others feel accepted and loved, whether that's sharing an encouraging word with them or simply sitting with them at lunch. And lastly, I myself have been encouraged and also challenged by this student and his desire to live out the words of Jesus and to be bold in doing that. So Sandicelli, thanks for allowing me to be able to walk by your side as your Bible teacher over these past few years. And I encourage you to continue to pursue Christ passionately with your life no matter where you go. This year, the Department Award for Bible goes to Sandicelli. From the home offices of Abel and Associates, the WMC 1920 Senior Math Award. Ms. Abel, I'm going to need you to crunch some numbers. Okay, are you ready? So we need to do an analysis of the best senior math student. So here are the things that we need to keep in mind. To factor in, first of all, that this student has taken all of the available math courses that we offer. AP Calculus. AP Statistics. Okay, not only have they taken those classes, but they have done them with excellence. Doing a great job in the classroom. Okay, now not only has this student done a great job in the classroom, but they've also pursued math knowledge that goes beyond the classroom, asking questions, trying to make deeper connections of, of mathematical topics. Okay, do you have that? Yeah. Okay, great. Now, I want you also to add in superb SAT scores. SAT scores that, that are just at the top. At the top, mm-hmm. In addition, um, I'd like you to, to include in that that colleagues across the department have recognized that this student has just done an excellent job in the classroom. Has, has said, tremendous student, well-deserving of this award. Can you tell me what you've got? Oh, really? Well, congratulations to Ben Waldo and Ben Garretson. Great job, guys. Hi, my name is Mr. Smith, and along with teaching Bible, I also teach business at WMC, and this year I have the privilege of presenting the Business Award. Since this is only my second year teaching business, our prior business teacher, Penny or Miss Gigi, or whatever you call her, Help me in deciding which student should receive the award this year. To begin with, this student has taken all of the business classes throughout his four years here at WMC, which has included computer apps, intro to business, accounting, business math, and personal finance. And this student has not only taken all of the business classes at WMC, but has done very well academically uh, in those classes. Personally, I've enjoyed getting to know this student over the past few years in not only my Bible classes, but also this past year, especially in accounting. And this student is intelligent and it's truly been a blessing here at WMC. So Jake, thanks for allowing me to be able to walk by your side as both your Bible teacher and business teacher. And I encourage you to continue to pursue Christ passionately with your life, no matter where you go and no matter what plans he has for you. This year, the Department Award for Business goes to Jake Benton. Hello parents and students, my name is Miss Lyle. I teach biology and chemistry and this year I have the privilege of presenting the Senior Science Award. Uh, every year we look for a student who has a particular interest in the sciences, who goes above and beyond in their understanding and studies of the sciences, and someone who looks to build God's kingdom through their knowledge of science. This year, our award recipient has gone above and beyond not only in the sciences, but also in every other area of study. 
This student has spent additional time serving in local hospitals um, in an effort to learn more about what it means to work in the medical field, which is a field she plans to pursue after graduating. This year, our Senior Science Award goes to, drum roll please, Christian Deke! Ah! Congrats, Grace! The highly anticipated Social Studies Award goes to the student who has excelled in Social Studies classes throughout their high school career. This year, there were many quality candidates, so two individuals were actually chosen. Uh, one of the many things that stood out to social studies teachers about these two students was not only their ability to articulate their opinion on certain issues, but their willingness to listen and respond appropriately to other students with different opinions. Along with the coveted social studies award, these two individuals are also going to get this wonderful t-shirt so that they can keep the dream alive. The problem is there's only one t-shirt, so the two of you will probably fight over it and tear it and destroy it, and then it will be useless as a t-shirt, but I think that the both of you might be okay with that. Congratulations. Micah Benton and Daniel Pleasure. Hola, me llamo Señorita Benoit y enseño Español Tres y Cuatro. This year, the Spanish award goes out to someone who has a natural gift at learning languages, who participates in class, who has an enthusiasm for the language, and is interested in continuing to learn Spanish after high school. This year, I am pleased to announce Jenna House Camp as a winner of the Spanish award. Enhorabuena, Jenna. Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Tank, and it is my privilege tonight to be presenting the English Department Award. To be or not to be together was not an option for us today. So will you indulge me for a few moments of your time? I am so proud of all my seniors and don't want to seem prejudiced against any of them, but only one could receive this award. This English Department Award winner is a senior who has worked diligently, completing two years of AP work in English, her junior year in AP Lang, and her senior year in AP Lit. She's a thoughtful writer and a thoughtful analyzer of literature. She's a student who's always striving to improve her work and looking for more to read all the time. In one of our online meetings, I got the question from her, Mrs. Tank, what can I read next? One of my favorite moments from this year from this student is when she finished her novel for her literary analysis project and immediately emailed me, which was rather late at night, with her reaction. <laughs> she has proven herself to be a committed student to the English language and a source of support, leadership, and guidance for her classmates. I am blessed to present the English Department Award to Chloe Mitchell. We also want to recognize three seniors who won awards in their various programs at the Muskegon Area Career Tech Center. The first student is Caleb Croft, who was placed in the top 10 or the platinum level in his program, Internet Network and Securities. Congrats, Caleb. The second person is, is Tori Zuber. She won the silver medal in her program of Vet Tech. Congrats, Tori. And the third uh, student, last but not least, is Dagan Bays, who won the gold medal in medical innovation. Congratulations to all of you, and we look forward to um, hearing more about how you continue to use the gifts God's given you into these different professions. The next award is the National Merit Award. The National Merit Scholarship Corporation compares a student's PSAT scores with those of other students in their state by using its own selection index. This falls on a scale between 48 and 228. The top 3 to 4 percent of scores are named Condemned Scholar. The top 1 percent, usually about 16,000 students, are named National Merit Semifinalists. 
semifinalists may go on to apply for finalist status and potentially win scholarship money, which this student has done. Please help me congratulate Ben Gerritsen. Congratulations, Ben. Hi, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm Heidi Seitzema, and I'm a graduate of WMC. I'm also a parent of Grace, who is um, a sophomore right now at WMC, and graduates James and Anna. And I'm also the daughter of Gary and Mary Brooker, who are both graduates um, and who live in Fremont right now. And a long time ago, they set up a scholarship fund through the Community Foundation Fremont um, to benefit students that are from Nuego County, who are graduating from WMC and going on to a Christian college. Um, our whole family has participated and contributed to this scholarship and um, as a representative of the Burker family, I'm really excited to announce that this year's recipient of the Gary and Mary Burker Family Scholarship is Abby Sweetman from Fremont. Yay! I also have the privilege in my day job to serve as the Vice President for Development and Donor Services for the Community Foundation for Muskegon County and scholarships are a big part of what we do there. Um, we have many, many donors who have invested heavily in the success and futures of Muskegon County students, and they show their love for this place that we call home by creating these scholarships. So today I have the privilege of announcing $42,000 worth of scholarships, some one year and some over multi-years, um, to six different recipients. First, I'd like to congratulate Zachary Foreman, who is the recipient of the Ruth Squarek Scholarship for $1,000. Congratulations, Zach. <laughs> Second, uh, congratulations to Luke Moorhead, who is receiving the Frauenthal Scholarship for $1,000. <laughs> also, Megan Heiss, congratulations. You will be receiving the Alan G. and Margaret Drost Toxopeus Western Michigan Christian High School Scholarship. They are both alum as well. Uh, for $3,000. Congratulations to Nicholas Moser, who's receiving the Mike and Lillian and Charles and Ann Boonstra Scholarship of $4,000. Nathaniel Vanderweide is also receiving a Ruth Squark Scholarship for $8,000. And finally, I am excited to announce that Benjamin Gerritsen is the recipient of one of our top awards, the Thomas and Geraldine Seiferth Scholarship, payable over four years for a total of $25,000. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. It's our hope and the donors hope that you take what you've learned here, that you put it to work and learn as much as you can as you go forward, and that you invest it in this community that we call home when you return. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Megan Bayard Caraba, and from my home to yours, I am honored to bring a message of congratulations on behalf of the Muskegon Area Promise Scholarship. The Muskegon Area Promise makes a unique commitment to the young people of our community. If they work hard and earn a 3.5 grade point average or greater, they will be able to earn two years of college tuition at either Muskegon Community College or Baker College of Muskegon. Even throughout these unprecedented times, 481 students countywide have qualified for the promise. Many are learning of their eligibility even as we speak. With the incredible academic stamina, our Promise Scholars college plans will take them in many directions. Our Promise Scholarship is given to students just like you who have a desire and a commitment to attend our locally top rated institutions. Um, as mentioned, our community college here in town and Baker College of Muskegon. And amidst these uncertain times, really the gift of education is one of hope. And what we know about hope and research is that hope can help us manage stress and anxiety and hope can help us cope with adversity. You know, it, it contributes to our well-being and happiness and it motivates our positive action. 
hopeful people believe that they can influence their goals and that their efforts can have a positive impact. Uh, so scholars and graduates, just like yourself, on behalf of our Promise Zone Authority Board, our entire community, we give you a gift of hope. Our promise is certainly and indeed your future. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Uh, may you take care of yourselves, stay healthy and safe, and never lose hope. Class of 2020, I have prayed for you and I have cried for you. No one could have ever predicted what happened this year. In fact, sometimes I stop myself and say, self, is this really happening? No one could have ever imagined watching graduation award winners on a video, but we are thankful to each of you for setting aside your own agenda and protecting others and loved ones from COVID-19. For years and decades to come, individuals will talk about the graduates of 2020 and all the sacrifices that were made. We are thankful for a God who has given us many wonderful years with our classmates, teachers, and our best friends that we will treasure for a lifetime. I hope you have enjoyed these award presentations as much as I have. The awards will be sent to you in the mail. Congratulations to each of you, class of 2020. I look forward to seeing you and cheering you on inside of my car at graduation. God bless you as you impact the world from an authentic biblical community.